Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here recording a, um, a tooth sectioning procedure. And so I'm going to go ahead and outline. This is tooth number three. It's a first permanent molar. And I'm going to go ahead and outline that now. Kind of give us an idea where our cut's going to be. All right. So we talked about this in earlier lectures, so it's almost like the peace sign. Okay. So the bifurcation, this roots are trifurcated actually. And if I were to just show you a quick molar here, this is the, the tooth itself. And if you notice the tooth not only is trifurcated, but the roots have different curvatures and different contours. Some are flat, some are conical. And so there's a definite sequence of removing the root tips. So uh, the lab has actually um, given us a nice printed model. We're going to go ahead and utilize our talents now, to what we know, to remove it. There we go. So I'm going to first of all section the tooth. And I'm going to pause for a second. So here we are again. We're going to go ahead now and just change birds. I'm going to actually increase the speed a little bit. And I'm going to bring the fan a little closer. Again, there my straight cut straight in. You can do this too at home with a fan on. First time doing it with a printed model, so just bear with me here. New technology. Anything's possible in dentistry. Brand new technology. Uh, the print company called Whitmix and I basically gave them everything they needed to create this printed model so I'm just slowly going at it here now I use my canned air from Office Depot dry out and you're going to start to see how far your cut goes in now what you can do is you can section the crown portion off and then just go at it. That's, um, that's an one method. Let's continue to cut through this section very nicely. Now you might have to widen the top of your cut and with that would be a 556 so you can you can go back and forth with that. There's my peace sign. I know that the furcation on the distal is toward the lingual, not straight in. So remember that when you're doing your cut on the distal aspect now, cutting it. And I feel really good. This it's getting nice and deep. Now you gotta think you're gonna go in there, it's it might be twelve millimeters by the time you reach the CEJ. And you want to definitely go past the cemento enamel junction, all right? Okay, let's see. All right. Getting there. Um, let's go deeper. So come down the buckle. Now you're going to try not to destroy the model uh, outside of the tooth, so that's important. Certainly a, a difference from that of the model uh, with the typodont tooth in there. You know, we were doing stone models, um, comparing now printed models with stone. Just It's an exercise in determining the methodology of removing a tooth atraumatically. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just see if I can separate it a little bit more on this distal aspect. Get all the way through without nicking the adjacent tooth. That's the key. So we're, if we were grading this, we're going to also make sure you don't nick an adjacent tooth. So points off for that. 
Okay, so now when you get down in there, you should be able to see around, and if you see any daylight, you probably have the teeth, the roots uh, section nicely, and then you can start with your instrument. And we're going to go through instruments in a minute. Actually, I have the f number seven spatula that you'll be using. This is one that I've been using a while, but it'll it'll serve the purpose. So the idea is to luxate. What does luxate mean? You're going to place the device in there and you just start to separate until you hear a little crack. You don't want to really break off the top. Just kind of get the the tooth a little loose, you know, back and forth. See it. Let's, let's see if it actually is mobile. Uh, this piece looks somewhat mobile, but yet we're not quite there yet. Now, there's purchase points that you can develop. This is the distal root. It's a more conical, and so I just snapped off the top of the root, and you can see now there's the, uh, the furcation now is wide open. So now we can go in, and uh, I kept that piece. I'm going to store it next door, keep it, hang on to that. Now we'll go right back in. Now you can deepen your cut. You got much more room to see. Let's see if we can get this distal buckle root tip out first, all right? So I'm going through the perk, coming up. All right, now, in real mouth, you have to think about the sinus. Don't drill too far into the sinus. But here we're just going after root tips. So again, there's the uh, root tip now outlined. Again, almost section completely free. We pro yeah, and I just used my burn. You heard that click. Now it's loose. And we can get that out, but it's going to take a little bit. Um, perhaps we can get it out, but in real life it's a little difficult. You might have to take something called a root tip instrument. Now we don't want you tapping it out like that. <laughs> of course not. We want to create a little more of a space and maybe you can elevate it out. Now elevation is a process where you take an instrument and use it as a lever. It might just come out. You know it's loose. Let's go after these two roots. This is the palatal root. That's the long, longest root in the tooth. And then um, we have the mesial buckle, which is flat. Let's look at that tooth again. Let me go find my... Um, uh, here they are. So here's the tooth again as we see it. And we do have some that are real life teeth here. Um, this one is, uh, that's the tooth you're after. Of course, here's now the distal root was removed. This portion was removed, the top of it, that is. And we still have it in there, but this root tip has a certain dimension to it. It's more conical, so it might be a little easier to remove that first before you go in and try to tackle the mesial buccal root. So let's do that now. I'll just go in, and sometimes these roots have dilacerations, and they're very difficult to remove. So you have to find out, you know, what does the x-ray show, what does the CT scan show, and then go for it, and then experience. So if your oral surgery is your game, this is a really good lesson in sectioning a tooth. So I'm just following the mesial lingual groove now of the cut, cutting through. And then see, I got more access. I can actually cut through better now. And um, look at that. I blew air and the root tip came plopping right out. <laughs> about that. So we, this is the distal buccal root tip. It's now out. And now you can see the other two are in there. Again, just go in and section some more. And then place your instrument. Okay, and that's the palatal root. And let's see if we can, yep, here's the mesial buccal root. That should come out next, and we'll elevate that out nicely. There we go. And then the last last one should just pop right out like that. So there you have it. The atraumatic removal of tooth number three. First time doing this with the, uh, with the printed model. I think it turned out really well. And hopefully everybody has fun with it. Uh, we were doing these with poured models, but uh, I think you'll learn a lot more doing it with this one. A little, e a little easier on you, a little more understandable. Again, the sequence, back it up a little bit. You want to see the tooth as it exists. We'll put the pieces together, perhaps. So this was the distal buckle conical root. 
the mesial buckle more of a flat ribbon shaped root and of course the palatal uh, and if you glue these together if you just want to put them together you can try to do that I'm not sure how successful you would be but anyway success enjoy have fun with it who knows you might be an oral surgeon someday all right this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo with the oral surgery uh, atraumatic removal of tooth number three take care